show the world how dirty my stove is. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm going to clean my glass top stove. It's a hot mess, it really is, and it needs cleaned, and I thought, let's just make a video and show the world how dirty my stove is. Sounds like a good idea to me. First things first, I have this cover on my stove. I don't know, can you see that? A big wood cover. Love it. I bought this on Etsy. I'll try to link that Etsy below. I really like this stovetop cover because I'm limited in this kitchen with counter space. I don't feel bad sitting things on top of my stove now that this cover's on here. Now to the stovetop. I know it's dirty. I, I know that. It's filthy. I haven't cleaned it in a long time. So it's dirty under here. And I thought, let's, let's just make a video cleaning it. Show the world how dirty my stove is. You ready? This comes off easily. There's two handles on it. And it comes off really easily. And I just set it over here. There you go. Dirty stove. It's filthy. I know. I, I know that. So we're going to try to clean this off the best we can. The very first thing that I do when I clean this is I get a toothpick. And I go around the outside edges to get all the cuck out. Because there's a lot of caca. There's a lot of caca build up in there. And I just drop it in the middle. I, I just drop it there. But I'll loosen up with this toothpick all these outside edges. Next, I'll get my vacuum cleaner and suck all this up. What that does, it just makes it easier to clean. You don't have to pick up crumbs and junk extra crumbs and junk. After that, I take some Ceramabrite. Not sponsored, but I like this stuff. It really works. I will link this in my description in case you want to go buy some because it does work. And I'll just spread it on there. And I have a sponge that has the scrubby side. It's not a hard scrub, but I'll just kind of put it all around here and let it sit. Just let it sit for mm, a minute or two. Just get it all around. Because the Ceramabrite does the job. You don't really have to scrub a lot with the Ceramabrite. And if there's a spot, I know like up here, there's a little bit of gunk. So I'll just sit that on there and rub that in there and let that sit there. And I know right here, I always have a problem. I don't know why but I'll just let that sit. This stuff, it really does work. It really, really works. It works well. I also have a bucket of water over here, a little, well, a bowl of warm water. So now I'll just start scrubbing. I'm not scrubbing hard. I'm, I'm basically just rubbing. The Ceramabrite just does the job by itself. I looked for a while trying to figure out what to buy for this. To clean it and I've tried a couple different things and I found I do like this the best I do like this the best there and I'll just let that sit just for a little bit like a minute or two and um, we'll be right back it's been sitting now I'll just rub it just because I had bacon I know there was bacon grease on here I, I do know that much and over here I always have a sticking problem for some reason I don't know why. It, it gets it up good, and I've tried other products to get it up. This works the best, and it's just being stubborn and won't come up. I, I don't know. It just doesn't, it just wants to stay there. I could get a razor blade and get it off that way, but I'm scared to death to do that. And this burner I use, I use all, all the time. That's all I'm doing. This, this is it. And then I take the other side and just kind of wipe it. You can see that it's clean, except for this area. And this area, I, I've always had a problem. I've got my canner now and it sits on this burner. If I would have known this stove, I got it a couple years ago. And if I would have known I'd been canning, I, I would have purchased a gas stove. But I didn't, and that's okay. Then I'll take a paper towel over top of this. There you have it. Like I said, this burner gets a lot of use. I mean, canning, my canner sits there. And I try hard not to move the canner because I know it will scratch this stove. 
but I have moved the canner and I know that I've scratched it. Okay. If you have to go get another paper towel, because it looks like I'm going to. This is a Norwex rag. The window cloth. I use this often on things. No, I don't sell Norwex or <laughs> it's not sponsored by Norwex. I just like Norwex products. Now, to clean the part up here, this is a bottle of water and alcohol mixture. And I'll just spray. I put it in a spray bottle. You can use a paper towel if you don't have the Norwex rags. Because I don't, Norwex rags you're supposed to use with like nothing. But I use it with this alcohol and I like it. I do what works for me. I suppose you could use vinegar also. When the virus hit and I made myself a bottle of alcohol water to clean things, I was just amazed. I could take those off too, but that's not happening either. I was amazed at how at how clean things were and how shiny things were just from the alcohol water. So I chose to make just clean with this. I don't clean with this all the time, but if I want it to really shine, I will. Other than the scratches, I think it looks great. I mean, I do can on this, and uh, there's nothing I can do about that. All right, I will link the Etsy shop in my description, and I'll also link the Ceramabrite that I used to do that with. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.